Hello everyone, and this uh, my name is Jack, and well, most of you already know that. And this is going to be my uh, full uh, YouTube story from when I first came around to YouTube four years ago, and how it has done well for me to this day. So um, to begin, four years ago, uh, well around middle to, or around the middle of 2007, I uh, heard of a video making site called YouTube, and you know. I, I went onto the site, and me being young at the time, I was well, I didn't know what I didn't know what YouTube was actually about. But eventually, uh, I I got told everything about YouTube, and then told that it was a video that it was a video watching site where I could just watch all the videos I wanted to watch. So uh, yeah, so I decided to just watch all of the videos that I liked, and uh, so I every day of the week I would sit in front of my uh, computer screen and just watch all, my, all the videos I liked on YouTube and then eventually about a year later I made my first YouTube account and when I first came around to YouTube me being young at the time I actually didn't know that I could make my own account and make my own videos I was about 11 at the time so I didn't really know much about it then eventually uh, a year later I made my first account and uh, you know that that was an account for just watching and favoriting like favoriting videos and subscribing to the people so I could find their videos again. So I didn't really make videos at all. And then after that, I came across uh, a video editing software called Windows Movie Maker, which was a pretty decent uh, software at the time. So I decided to start using that to make my own videos, and that turned out to be one of the worst things I could do. Because most things I had in the videos of Movie Maker were copyright, so I was given strikes. And uh, the account I first started off in 2008, I kept it for about a year. Uh, then eventually, since I violated so many copyright strikes, YouTube took it upon themselves to suspend my account. So uh, yeah, October 10th, 2009, my uh, old account got suspended. And I just and I emailed YouTube and asked them why was it why was I suspended why did you suspend me? And they told me it was because I violated I violated so many copyright strikes that they had, they had to suspend me. So I thought, okay, yeah, well that's that's normal. So uh, I thought, okay, well I'll start an, I'll start a new one. I'll start a new account up. And this time I won't violate any copyright strikes and I'll just keep it on a clean and narrow. So eventually October 13th 2009 I made my second YouTube account. Which actually does go against the rules of YouTube but uh, I think I'm, I'm doing okay at the moment. So uh, yeah I made my second account which was Jackman2540 which is the one that's done ex exceptionally well for me at the moment. And uh, you know I started that account with, uh, about early October 2009 um, and then I made my first video about two hours after I opened my new account which was again another copyright video which it, I wasn't given a strike I was just told that okay it's got material from a Universal Music Group so I can't well so yeah basically I, it, won't, it won't be taken it wasn't taken down it was just blocked in like nearly every country in the world it's blocked in about 180 countries think it was about that anyway but um another thing what well, another, another thing I, I another thing I thought of was uh to get a camera and start making my own video blogs so eventually I I, uh, I did that well before I got my uh, first camera I was still using movie maker and then my, my next video which was which actually was a uh, a darren bent balloon goal against Liverpool uh, for Sunderland, that got about forty thousand views, and there was no copyright. And then, but and then next month, uh, when France took on Ireland in the World Cup, in their uh, in their second leg match, when Henri handballed, I made a video about that, and that got a good uh, fifty thousand views, and that was my first uh, real viral video, which I was pretty proud of actually. So I was uh, pretty proud of that. And then eventually, 
I got my first camera November 17th 2009 and there actually is a funny story here well it's not funny but it's just a very a very, a very uh, well it's a story that I never I never told anyone uh, around November 2009 I started to become really really upset and really uh, depressed with myself because you know I didn't, I didn't really have I didn't really have any friends at the time and I, I never I was never one of those popular kids so I had a lot of thoughts about suicide and I I actually attempted suicide once but uh you know that attempt that luckily that attempt failed and I don't know what was wrong with me I was really depressed didn't know what to do so uh then I remembered that uh, I had a YouTube account and that I could make videos to you know, probably pop, pop, popularize myself. So then I thought, okay, well, let's keep this up, let's keep it up with YouTube. So then I started making video blogs with a camera. And it was one of them cameras that uh, was, it wasn't fully HD, but it was good enough to video with. So I started making video blogs with it. So um, my, first vi my first video with my new camera was actually a, a, a congratulations video to Shane Dawson for passing a, a million subscribers and that got a good that got a good 100 or 200 views or something like that and then going into the new year I thought okay new year new change I, I said to myself that I'm gonna make a lot more videos in 2010 and I'm gonna change my life for good and in 2010 that is exactly what I did but it was actually around late 2010 when I began to change because early 2010, around uh, April 2010 again I, uh, I started making a new uh, series uh, like uh, my own uh, skit uh, Skitzer, that's what it's called and people were calling it a rip off of uh, Nigahiga Schizo but you know everything's a rip off these days of uh, big, YouTube, big YouTubers videos so I thought well you know what, well, it doesn't matter, it happens all the time so um what I had decided to do was uh, continue with it after I made my first episode. But then the feedback of it was really, really low. So I had decided that I was going to close my YouTube account for good. Which was exactly what I did. I closed my YouTube account down for good. And pe some people who were true fans of my, vid true fans of my videos weren't... Uh, they didn't necessarily have the highest opinion of me closing my account. So eventually, a week later, I reopened it. I thought, okay, this is it. No more bullshit. I'm going to keep YouTube up and not care what people say about me. So, that's what I did. So, fast forwarding to late 2010, around August. My uh, subscriber rate began to really soar. Go really high. I passed 200 subscribers in August. And my account became the most subscribed account in my town which I don't care who you are that's a brilliant a brilliant honor and even though like it's just my town and not many people in my town are video makers but it's still something to be actually be proud of and then fast forwarding into 2011 the year that has so far changed my life for good um, my, I, uh, in 2011 I got a new uh, HD ready camera, which is what I'm using at the moment. But since my videos are not in HD, my videos aren't in HD because it takes about 200 or something minutes to upload with HD. So there won't be any HD videos uh, too soon. But anyway, back to the topic. Um, so, so yeah, 2011 so far, my first real video in 2011 was actually how much I hated trolls and how to handle them. Which everybody absolutely loved. And with how popular I began, I began, sorry, with how popular I was becoming on YouTube, people were asking me to mention it in my videos. I think I was passing 40, at least 30 people in one video. Like, I had to mention 30 people in one video. Which I thought, oh, this is brilliant because people are actually watching my, watching my videos and want to be mentioned. So, uh, that was pretty good. And then, like, that's pretty much how well I've done with YouTube. And need to make it even better. In February of this year, I passed 300 subscribers, which has now put me f 
clear ahead of nearly everybody else in my town of becoming number one most subscribed. Which I'm actually I'm actually enjoying that honor at the moment. I think soon that I'm gonna be overtaken. But uh yes, yeah, so that was my YouTube story from two thousand and seven to two thousand and eleven. From well yeah, from the years that my life was going to shit to the year that has changed my life for good. And has made me the person I am today, made me so much better and uh has just done so well for me. And to all my subscribers and people who watch my videos out there, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. So you all deserve a thank you from me. So that just about wraps up my YouTube story. So thank you for watching and thank you for being there for me. Goodbye.